Hello, ladies. Congratulations and welcome to the the new consultant business training. And I also want to congratulate you on opening your new business in Mary Kay. You have three very important positions to take care of in your Mary Kay business. You will be the president and CEO of your company. You'll be the treasurer. And you'll be the beauty consultant in the field. You have tremendous courage just for making a decision that could change your life and the lives of many others in your life for the better. And just out of curiosity, I want you to think about this. What was your reason for starting your Mary Kay business? Was it because you wanted to make a little extra money, save a little extra money on your product, or maybe you have bigger dreams for your future and just want to stay home with children or um, just change change of career? Well, I just want to let you know that so many things can happen in this business, and I want to encourage you to just go all out. Go all out, see what you can do with your Mary Kay business, and see where it takes you because I know that amazing things can happen for you, whether you're in the business to make an extra $50 a month or if you just want to be able to send your children to college without having to have them have financial worry when they graduate. Whatever it is you choose, you can achieve in your Mary Kay business. And I want you to keep an open mind about setting goals. We talk a lot about goals in Mary Kay. Some of the goals that we talk about, the first one would be a long-term goal. That might be becoming the top position in Mary Kay, which is a national sales director. A mid-range goal might be becoming a star consultant this quarter or being a star consultant every quarter this year. Another short-term goal might be a monthly goal. For example, I might be doing a power start or a perfect start. The perfect start is doing 15 phases in 15 days, and the power start is 30 phases in 30 days. And maybe you want to complete your pearls of sharing, which is having your director share the Mary Kay opportunity with six of your favorite people that you think would just be fantastic consultants. Our fiscal year in Mary Kay starts July 1st, and the year end is June 30th. So for all the contests that we have that go for a year in Mary Kay or our Queen's Court of Sales and Queen's Court of Recruiting or Queen's Court of Sharing, which they've changed it to within the past few years, those contests start July 1st and end June 30th. Mary Kay Corporate tracks two things to determine our success in Mary Kay. That's what we order and who we recruit. So if it is your idea and your focus and your goals to move up the career path in Mary Kay and make money in Mary Kay, then it would be a good idea to focus on on selling the product and offering the opportunity to other women so you can enhance your career and change their lives for the better as well. We are rewarded, rewarded for consistency and So if you consistently order as a consultant, we're rewarded through the Star Consultant Program. And when you're ordering $600 wholesale per month to restock the product on your shelves, um, that will get you anywhere. And you'll be consistent Star Consultant. And ladies, being a Star Consultant is very rewarding. Not only does the company reward us with great prizes that we get to choose and the ladder of success pin, but we're also rewarded in our Mary Kay unit because we do something special to recognize the stars each quarter. And this quarter is um, in particularly going to be a very special quarter, so you want to make sure that you're a star consultant. Make sure to keep your goals simple to start out with. When you're a brand new consultant, too much information can be very confusing and also just very, very overwhelming. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. When I first started my, my business, there was so much information. I was just just fearful of what, what am I doing? You know, I don't know what I'm doing. But believe me, just take it one step at a time and you'll learn. You'll learn everything there is to know about this business. Just keep it simple. To start out, what your first goal should be is to go out there and book eight skincare classes. I want you to make a list of the people that you know 
And if you don't think that you know anybody in your area, then give me a call and let's talk and we'll brainstorm on who you might know and who you could get together with. One of the great things is even if you know three people, they can refer people to you. And if you go out there and you book eight skincare classes by just giving that person a call and saying, hey, Susie, this is Jana. How are you doing today? Great. So what have you, what have you been up to? You know, do your chit-chat thing and say, well, Susie, I do. I have a huge favor to ask you. I am just starting to get my Mary Kay business started, and you might, may have known that, but I just want to give you a call because my director has given me a challenge. Um, in order to learn how to do skincare classes, I really need the practice. I just need you and a few of your friends to get together just to give me your opinion on our skincare. Do you think you'd be willing to do that for me? And lit. Just be silent. Let her answer for you or, you know, let her, let her respond. And I think it's really important that you focus on getting those eight skincare classes booked. You get a special prize from me, and that's, what's, that's your training. That is what this business is about. And so make sure that you're focusing on doing that so you can finish your power start. And we can have some people to do your pearls of sharing with, and so you can do a power start plus. So one of the things um, also that I think that is important to complete as a new consultant is ordering your business kit. When you will go to marykayintouch.com and type in your information as far as your, your consultant ID number and then your password, when you go to the Mary Kay In Touch program, you can click on the ordering tab and then click on MK Connections. And in the upper left hand corner it says MK Connections slash MK Impressions. And you will see on there they have displayed a little business kit. It's got a name tag, a stamper that uh, and product labels, business cards, so many things that you can that you can get, but that is the the business kit. I think it's inexpensive. I think it really helps you get your business started off powerfully. You've got business cards. It's very professional. And any product that you send out into the world, you always want to have your sticker on, your product sticker on. That way if it's given as a gift, people know who to contact if they don't have a consultant. Also, it has your sticker on there so people lose your phone number. They know how to contact you right away. And so I think that's really important. Also, if you haven't placed your first order, I think that is important as well. Because Mary Kay always said that you can't, you can't sell anything from an empty wagon. So that's really important. So ask yourself this. What are your goals? What are your goals for getting your business started? Are you going to do the 30 phases in 30 days? I know you can do it. I know you can do it. And if your starter kit hasn't arrived yet, guess what? To book those eight skincare classes... There's nothing in that starter kit that you need to book those classes because I want to tell you that there's not a telephone in the starter kit and there's not a phone book in the starter kit. That's all you need to book those classes. And if you're thinking, because you're probably thinking, oh, my goodness, I don't know how to do a skincare class. When I first started, I'm like, oh, goodness, skincare class. I don't know how to do a skincare class. Ladies, if you know how to read, you can do a skincare class. It's really not that hard. Um, it's right in front of you. Honestly, right in front of you, right on the flip chart. So I would just encourage you, get out there and do it because it's just as simple as that. All you have to know how to do is read. So have some friends get together and help you out and finish your goals for the first month. Now I want to talk to you about the different positions that you have in your Mary Kay business and what you might be, what you should be expecting of yourself in your business. The first position is you'll be the president and CEO and just think of a president and CEO, what would their image look like? In Mary Kay, we wear skirts and we look professional. We wear, you can wear simple colors if you're challenged, um, like I am, with, um, with fashion. Just wear simple colors. And a good rule of thumb is if you don't know what to wear, wear black shoes, plain hose if you're a pantyhose wearer, and um, you don't, we don't have to wear pantyhose in Mary Kay anymore, but I just think it looks professional and sharp. Wear black shoes, pantyhose, a black skirt, and a white blouse. That is always something very simple and basic. And your fingernails. 
I would at least put on a clear polish. You don't have to go get a manicure, but if you want to, that's great. But at least wear clear polish. Wear makeup. It's not essential that you wear a whole bunch of makeup. I'm not telling you um, that you have to have the amount of makeup as Tammy Faye Baker. I'm just saying that it's good to advertise what you are offering. So use the skincare and put on a little bit of color. And also, you know, being a CEO, you can't see a CEO walking around um, marketing her business with with gym shorts or sweatpants and a ponytail without makeup on. So we wouldn't want to do that either. Your hair, if you need an up there, updated haircut, get it, because you're probably um, going to be very excited about that. That will be something that you'll be thrilled with as well. So it will give you more confidence when you're marketing your business. Also, meeting requirements. Meetings are held in Manhattan on a weekly basis every Tuesday night, 6.30 to 8 p.m. If you're not local to the Manhattan area, I will connect you with a director in your area. Meetings, you always want to show up promptly. You want to be there on time. If you, if it's a guest event or guest night, you always, always want to bring a guest. That way, you are getting the Mary Kay opportunity in front of your friends, and um, that's what guest events are for. So make sure that you always have a guest on your arm. Make sure you offer to go pick her up and take her and take her to and, and take her home from the meetings. Also, the meetings are a place for happiness and positive attitudes. So you never, never want to take anything negative into your Mary Kay meeting. Sometimes there is a room fee at the meetings, so you always want to make sure that you're prepared for that. So it might be a few dollars just to help cover different costs. So um, be prepared to either take a checkbook or take a, just a few dollars cash with you. And if you have questions regarding meetings, make sure that you contact me, and I'll be happy to help you out with that. So meetings are to motivate, educate, and just really bring us together to celebrate you in your Mary Kay business. So make sure that you're going to meetings. They are a ton of fun. You really get to have that girlfriend time with your sister consultants and get the recognition that you truly deserve. As a president and CEO, you have to have an organization system of organization, right? Make sure that you have your office organized and be hungry for knowledge. A good place to go for training is www.marykayintouch.com. Now, I want to tell you something. It's not a good use of your time if you just keep searching out different ideas to build your business. Ladies, what you want to do when you are in this business is you want to stick with the basics. Book the appointment, sell the product, book her for a skincare class, and offer her the opportunity. That is working your business full circle. So just keep it simple. Do the skincare classes. Time management. A good president and CEO knows exactly what her schedule is like. Now, in our Mary Kay business, sometimes there's some gray areas of, you know, I'm going to be doing this at this time, but something changes. But that we do have that flexibility. But you will have a weekly plan sheet in your first packet that I give to you. And if you don't have that in front of you, you can also get on the Mary Kay Untouch site and just click on the search engine and click weekly plan sheet. A good idea would be to just kind of make a basic plan of when you're available to work your Mary Kay business. Maybe you could color in with crayons or highlighters. Maybe you want to use blue for spiritual, green for classes that you have scheduled, red for recruiting time, time that you're going to get together and share some facts about Mary Kay or watch a video with a friend, pink for work, working your Mary Kay business, but maybe you're not doing classes at that time. Maybe you're doing phone calls. Maybe that's your meeting time, time that you go to seminar, um, career conference, things like that. It's always good to plan your work and work your plan. Motivation would be the next thing that I think that a president and CEO would really have control over. And just know that I am always here for you, but you have to learn how to motivate yourself. The reason why is because I don't know. Um, I don't know when you're down and when you're up. 
Only you know that. So you need to learn how to access things that will motivate you. Some of the things that you can access that will motivate you are hotlines. I have a hotline number, and that number is 913-643-1435. You can also listen to, there's a variety of CDs and tapes that you can listen to through Mary Kay, and I, that's the Learn MK Media Source. There is a huge array of inexpensive CDs that you can listen 